Hello, I'm Simon Hope and um, I'm going to talk about the Stratos FU230. Um, this is the same lathe that I have in my workshop and to begin with we'll talk about the sort of basic machine uh, and then we'll show you some of the optional extras uh, that are available also. Um, firstly, it's a very heavy duty uh, constructed lathe. Um, it's 178 kilos uh, and what I like about it is the extra sort of heavy duty legs uh, and the extra sort of heavy duty feet that are on the bottom um, that really makes it a nice stable lathe. Um, it's quite a compact machine um, as you'll see so it fits into quite small spaces um, but it gives big capabilities. So for instance uh, the swing over the bed if you're turning platters or bowls uh, is 450 millimetre um, and between centres uh, it's 700 millimetre. Um, of course, you've got the, the optional extra with the bed extension, um, which makes that then uh, 1150. Um, but we'll talk about that just a little bit later and how the swing away works. So some standard features on the lathe are the spindle is M33. Um, both ends are two moss taper. Uh, and a really nice feature that I like on this lathe with the towel stock, it's actually got a really long quill. Um, and actually moves very quick. Some lathes you sort of keep winding this and this moves very slowly um, but you can see this will extend out to 100 millimeter um, so it's a really nice working quill. I'll just move that back before we talk about the other little bits. Um, two horsepower, I think I've mentioned that already. Um, lots of people ask me um, about the position of the fan so I'll just sort of talk about that. Um, it's compact to make it compact into short space. So it's been actually machined and designed this way uh, for the motor to be there. And lots of people um, say they're worried about sort of dust going into the end here. And, and what I can say to that is the motor is completely 100% sealed. Um, so you only have this open with the fan, which just keeps the motor cool for long running. And it doesn't affect any dust whatsoever, uh, does not affect or, or damage the motor. So um, you don't have to worry about the fact that that um, you know, part is there because it doesn't affect anything. Um, so nice little features that this lathe has. It's got a nice flat top on here uh, for mounting your uh, light. Uh, and also new to the latest sort of 230 models, um, it has two sockets uh, down the bottom here for plugging in uh, up, to, up to 700 watt lights and some small drills, etc. Um, they are Euro plugs, but with adapters you can just use your ordinary UK uh, plugs into those. Now to change the belt, I'll just show you uh, how to do that. Um, it's done very easily, um, just by lifting this. What's quite nice, it has a, a little safety switch in here, um, so it stops the lathe. You can't get into there uh, once the lid's open. And very, very easily, you just release the lever, you pull that, and you can very easily just swap over um, the belt systems. So the fast belt system is for most turning um, but if you were actually running uh, bigger pieces and you want a higher torque that's when you want to move to the, the lower system. Also built into this lathe is a slow start. Um, so it's a, a slow rev up and a slow stop and that's built in for bigger work so it doesn't trip the inverter and that's all nicely done at the bottom there. So we're just starting, that's about 1000 RPM um, and we'll just run it up to its fast speed. I'm just going slowly through it and you can see that it increases up to 3700 RPM um, and there's absolutely no vibration in the lathe. You can see the pieces on here, there's no movement, it's very quiet, very smooth uh, and very powerful. I'll just turn that down slightly and just stop. Um, so another really nice uh, option on this lathe is the um, uh, control panel. Okay, so you can move that around. Um, it's on a magnet, so wherever you're working on the lathe, you can move that around safely and put it on um, so you can hit the stop button. So that's never set in one position. You can move that, and that's a really nice feature. So uh, for the spindle lock, it comes with a pin, uh, which has a, a magnet on the end. And that's a very nice way, uh, quick and easy, uh, just to take the chuck off as a spindle lock. Um, it has 24 indexing, and that's done through this pin here. You simply lock into your number, 
and ju just twist that in to actually lock the spindle off and I can see that we're on position number five. So you can see that through the window um, of all the different positions. Um, another really nice feature is the large hand wheel and that really helps when you're working with pieces um, to have that hand wheel there. So I'm just going to talk about some of the uh, other options that are available for this lathe. Um, I'm going to show you the easy takeaway for the banjo. Um, the bed, by the way, is really nice in machines and it has a really nice bevel on there and the sharp edge is taken off. That's just another really nice uh, finish that, that the lathe has. Um, the easy takeaway is an optional extra. Um, so if you do have the bed extension and you want to move this away out the way or if you're using a sphere jig, for instance, um, you can fit this part. Uh, it's very easy to use. You just use your ordinary um, chuck key. You twist that round to open. Once it's released, open. You can see then that you can very easily remove the banjo. Um, and to reinstall, you just simply twist that round to close. You have to make sure the banjo is loose. Click that round to close. And then you can continue to use your banjo um, in its ordinary fashion. And that's a really nice optional extra. Another optional extra is the, the extra bed, uh, and that's 450 millimetres long. Um, installed in between this is the swing away plate. Um, it, there also is a plate system that hooks over, um, but the swing away system um, is a lot easier and has more options uh, in its use. So um, I would recommend the swing away um, over the plate system. Um, the little nut there is a safety pin so that your uh, tailstock does not fall off the end. So just remember to take that out when you install the, the bed extension and then reinstall it uh, on the end here. I'll just pop that in. Um, and this little <coughs> uh, part here is just to lock the bed extension once it's in place uh, and you don't plan to use it. So I'm just going to release the clip, which is on this side here, and you can see very, very easily uh, we can swing this out the way. So I'll just put the, the towel stock on just to show you this. Very nice if you want to get in to do hollow forms that you can just move that out the way. Um, there is a little safety clip here. So you can actually install that just to stop it swinging back um, if your floor isn't level or there happens to be a bit of vibration from a large piece. It just stops that swinging back round. Now, I'd just like to show you why I prefer this over the, the ordinary plate system. Obviously, the swing away is the one option um, or one advantage to having that. Um, but the other really nice thing is it's very easy to lift on and off uh, to change positions. So I'm just going to lift this off and then we show you how to reinstall it um, because each easy plate system comes with two plates. Two plates that can go on in different positions and the plate itself that goes on the bed extension. So I'll lift this off and you can see how easy it is to reinstall into a different position. So let's just reinstall this. Um, I've got it down here uh, on this part, um, so if I want to turn uh, big bowls and platters, I can easily do this. I'll then put the, the locking pin in here, and I'll just show you how easy it is to, to move the head round. Just move these parts clear. So first release the, the lever, um, and down here you'll see you have to release this part. And there's a pin system. Um, there is some indexing in this, so it will click round, um, or just leave it pulled out to, to move it all the way around. So you can see now how easy it is to, to turn bowls and bigger work over the bed extension, which is on the legs. Um, and when you purchase the, the bed extension, it comes with the extender post. So with the easy takeaway,
very quick and easy to reset this up to turn big and large platters over the bed extension. So just a couple of more things to show you on this lathe. Um, it has a recess on the spindle uh, and there is a locking collar available. Um, so if you put the lathe in reverse, which this lathe is capable of doing, um, it has a safety collar uh, to do that option. Um, also, a really nice feature of this lathe is the length of the spindle between the bearings, which is 220 millimeter. Um, and that's more than what you get on some other standard lathes. Um, and that really helps with the rigidity of the lathe um, and reduces the vibration. It makes it a very strong, uh, capable machine for when you're doing the bigger pieces. Um, we've just spoke about the, um, the bed extension and how that easily moves round. Um, there are actually uh, six positions that you can move the bed extension. So on both of the heavy duty cast legs, there are three positions. So you have one on here, uh, one on here, one on the side, um, and of course the same on the other legs. So that gives you plenty of options to, to move where you want to put the bed extension. So I'd just like to talk about um, what comes as standard with this lathe. Um, firstly, it comes with a six inch faceplate uh, and a spanner for that. The pin with the magnet for the spindle lock, four prong dog drive, live center, knockout bar, 350 millimeter uh, long tool rest and a really nice part that the lathe comes with uh, a double two moss taper so when you move the headstock and you want to realign it you just pop that in here bring it up to the headstock and then you can realign very very easily uh, the position of the points thank you for watching um, I hope I've put the points across of just how compact and capable this heavy duty machine is, um, which I would class as a professional lathe. Um, and it's one of the lathes and machines that um, I'm very lucky to own in my workshop. If you'd ever like to come along and have a go, you're more than welcome. Thank you for watching. Uh, and for more information, please visit my website, www.hopewoodturning.co.uk.